Outdoor classroom, I've noticed since we have developed that outside area, the children's interactions with nature have become considerably deeper because they are interacting with dirt and sun and rain and animal life and insect life and bringing their own observations to it, their ideas their cooperation, and seeing how the environment has changed every time they go out. I think at the beginning of the school year, um, as children are still getting used to the playground, uh, we provide a lot of opportunities for children to explore different areas of our playground. So children who typically wouldn't gravitate towards being outside, they will gravitate towards, say, musical instruments, or they'll gravitate towards art. So if you put an art activity outside, um, you'll see those children going outside because that's where the activity they like is. On our playground we have a lot of different areas that children who need some more space or they need something a little more focused than the crazy running around the playground, big gross movement games um, that most kids, they need when they're outside, they'll want to run around, they'll want to play. But some children, um, they need their own space, they want to do things individually and doing that in nature and doing that through lots of the activities we have out there. Like we'll have musical instruments, we'll have puppets, we'll have um, the investigate bins, art activities, um, just different things that these kids can gravitate towards and feel comfortable outside. They can work on the garden, they can... There's just a lot of opportunity for kids who are more introspective and they don't feel comfortable in that uh, traditional playground. Love going out in the rain at other schools if it was raining um, there was no way that they would be outside but here they really enable kids to do that they can jump in puddles they can um, dig in the mud dig in the canal one of the elements of the outdoor classroom that has been very successful was the development of what the children are calling the stream or the canal because they had noticed there was a slope along the edge of the playground where water would collect after a rain. Uh, so they started digging at it to see what was happening and then we facilitated it by moving over a large barrel of water that the rain could fill or we would use a hose to fill so the children themselves could access the water when they wanted it and over the course of hours and days and weeks and months the canal turned into a really a center place for children's play Children love the sensory aspect of it. They love um, showing teachers their new discoveries and showing it to friends. And 
sharing in that with each other. If a child was very into watching um, a process or if a child was interested in sensory play or children who were very um, centered on working together as a group, all these children could come together and find elements of play. Our playground takes advantage of the change of season through different activities. So during the fall we'll have rakes out and children can rake the leaves and they can make piles and jump and enjoy the season. And then when it's winter time and it starts to snow, they can shovel, they can play winter games, they can build with the snow and it's something that we try to promote them to do. Every time there had been rain or sun or um, ice or a hot day, the environment would change and then that would change the place. So every time the children came to it, it was something very fresh, very new. And then when other children came, they would bring their own ideas to it and the kids would really work together. I just feel like the questions that children ask are so different here than at other schools because of our nature program and because we focus so much on connecting children back to nature. 